Hi everyone, it's Bonnie Terry here and today we're going to do a writing lesson improving writing skills with the use of graphic organizers. I talk about this all the time and I'm going to show you step by step today exactly how I do it, you know, one of the ways that I do it. We're going to add an additional component to it today with doing a little bit of brainstorming before we actually start using the graphic organizer. So you'll see what I mean as we get started here. Hi everyone, it's Bonnie Terry here and we're going to go through a uh, paragraph writing lesson today a little bit differently than we've done in the past. And so what I want you to do is first watch and then you'll be able to do it with your super spacers as well as the um, graphic organizing form from our 10 minutes to better study skills. And so we're going to start off, I'm going to go ahead and put up one of our super spacers. And you can see we have 10 spots there. And what we're going to do today is to pick a pet to write about. And so you can have a dog, a cat, a hamster, a snake, a turtle, a bird, fish, whatever kind of pet you can think of that's perfectly fine to use. You know, even an unusual pet is fine. Um, I know we had, uh, I'm drawing a blank on it, uh, oh, hermit crabs. We had hermit crabs when my kids were little at one point. So it doesn't matter the type of pet but we're going to be writing about pets, either a pet that you have, or a pet that your grandmother has, or a pet that your neighbor has, any type of pet. So for today's example, I'm going to go ahead and choose a dog. So I'm going to put down dog. And then I have all of these spaces here that I want to fill in with some ideas. Again, we're just doing some brainstorming before we actually start writing our hamburger paragraph. Remember, in our 10 Minutes to Better Study Skills book, we have all kinds of graphic organizing forms. And so what we're going to do today is to use the hamburger paragraph form. Well, the topic sentence is what goes in the top, uh, on the, you know, at the beginning of the paragraph. Then we have detail sentences, and then we have a concluding sentence. And you've got your example. Remember, this is chock full of, of graphic organizing forms. Your example is on page 30. And so what we're going to do is to do some brainstorming before we get to the actual writing. So we're going to write about a dog. And what kinds of things can we write about a dog? For instance, what does the dog need? What are the dog's needs? Well, the dog needs food. And a dog needs shelter. And a dog needs exercise. Okay, and a dog needs water, and a dog needs love, and there's actually one other thing that a dog needs, and that's some health care, especially as they get older. And so we have, goodness, six different things that we could write about our dog's needs. Now, in order to make it a more interesting paragraph, so it's just not a cut and dried, well, a dog needs food, or my dog's favorite food is um, um, Purina, dog chow, you know, whatever, whatever you would want to put there. You want to personalize it a little bit. And so we have three other s slots there, so we could put in the size of the dog. We might put something in about the age of the dog. And we could also put in something about the breed. 
What kind of dog is it? Is it a mutt? Is it a poodle? What kind of dog is it? Is it a Labrador? Is it a yellow Labrador, a black Labrador, a chocolate Labrador? You know, or we can get some descriptions. So this is where you're going to be putting, giving some personality to your dog. And then you could even get, you know, you could end up doing multiple paragraphs from this brainstorming. You could actually write a whole essay from this brainstorming. But for today's purpose, what we're going to do is to just focus on the paragraph. And so since we have all of these wonderful ideas for, you know, things that we could be talking about, we're going to then go and look at our paragraph. Well, gee, the top of the bun is the topic sentence. I'm going to go ahead and switch to our blank sheet here. So I need to make some, up some sort of a topic sentence. The dog that I had when I was growing up was a boxer, and her name was Sheehy. It's a whole story about that, but we're not going into that today. So I, if that might be my topic sentence. My favorite dog's name was Sheehy. And then in the detail, or what, my favorite dog was a boxer whose name was Sheehy. Or maybe I want to write about my grandparents' dog, and her name was Mimi. My favorite dog was a French poodle named Mimi. It was my grandparents' dog. Then I'm going to get into some specific details. And I might talk, say something about the size, the kind of food that she liked the best, where did she live in the house? You know, did she have the whole run of the house? Or maybe when I'm referring to shelter, I might say, and she used to, when we got to take care of her, she'd come and sleep, you know, at the foot of my bed. It was wonderful. So getting in some specifics regarding shelter so that you're giving personality. We would take her for a walk every day. And it, it, it was the winter time, and so we'd have to even put a jacket on her, because I grew up in the Midwest. And there'd be snow, and it would be very cold. So we can get into some specifics in the details and pick and choose how many. Since this is just one paragraph, we certainly don't need to include all of these. But this is a good springboard to help you to be able to figure out what you want to put and where you want to put it. And you're going to have some details and then your conclusion. Now, one more thing with this, because you can get into so many different topics and you could actually write, regarding your dog, you could actually write a whole five paragraph essay and research paper uh, use, you know, write an essay using the five paragraph. You know, since there's so many different categories there that we could write about, what you could do is actually, instead of just writing one paragraph, write a short essay. That would be five paragraphs. So we would have our introductory paragraph, then we would pick one of these categories, and that would be the main idea, and we're going to write a paragraph about that. Pick another one and write about that. And pick another one and write about that. And then at the end, we're going to conclude it. We're going to wrap it up, restate some of the information that we did at the top. So again, you can either just write one paragraph, but if you're going to write one paragraph, don't use all of these details because that would be overpowering. But pick several of them, and then you can also push it one step further and do five paragraphs from this type of brainstorming. So I just wanted to show you another use 
for using super spacers as well as our graphic organizing forms that are in the 10 Minutes to Better Study Skills. So, that being said, you have a good one and good writing. Bye-bye.